Hi, all. Um, we're going to do a couple of examples of factoring quadratic trinomials. And we're going to use the guess and check method. Um, might also be known as a reverse FOIL method. Um, so if you're looking for the box method, this is not that video. OK? Um, <clears throat> so what we have here, uh, we have x squared minus 8x plus 15. So first thing we're going to do is check for greatest common factor. Now, there's no uh, variables common here. There's no number we can factor out. So there's no greatest common factor. So what we're going to do is we are going to make two sets of parentheses because we're going to try to factor this into two binomials. x squared, first of all, we got to factor that and put it in these first spots. Uh, we need an x in each binomial. So the only way that can work is x times x. x times x is x squared. 15, we have to factor 15. So let's see, what are some different ways to factor 15? You have 1 times 15, and you have 3 times 5. And that's the only way you can do that, uh, at least with positive numbers. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to try these ways in here. Um, you can try either either set. I'm going to try the 3 and the 5. Um, often I like to try the set that's closer together. 3 and 5 are pretty close. So I'm going to try that 3 and 5. I put those in there. I see that 15 has to be positive. So that means either these have to either be both positive or both negative. Um, uh, but I see I need a negative 8x, so I'm going to make them both negative because a negative 5 times a negative 3 is going to give me a negative 15. And then I'm hoping I'm going to end up with a negative 8x here. Okay, So to get that negative 8x, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the inside numbers, okay, the inside terms. So that would be negative 3x, negative 3 times x. And we're going to multiply the outside terms. So that is 5x. In fact, no, I'm sorry, that is negative 5x. x times negative 5 is negative 5x. And then we're going to add those together. Negative 5x minus 3x. Well, that equals negative 8x. That's what we were looking for. So we did that right. Okay. We have our factored form of this expression. Okay. Now, let's try a different one. We're going to try to factor this quadratic over here. Um, we look for greatest common factor. There's no greatest common factor. So we're going to break this into two binomials. Um, <clears throat> so we put our two sets, sets of parentheses. We have to factor x squared. The only way we can do that is, let's do this one here, x times x gives me x squared. We have to factor 15 over here. We already figured out that the factors of 15 are 1 and 15 and 3 and 5. So it's going to be one of those if it can be factored here. So again, I'm going to check, try the one that's closest together. Uh, I'm going to try 3 and 5. Now let's see if this works. Um, I see we have a negative here. So to get a negative 15, one of these has to be negative. Right? Negative 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. Or negative 5 times, I'm sorry, negative 3 times a positive 5 is a negative 15. Or a negative 5 times a positive 3 equals negative 15. Okay, So we know that one of these has to be negative. So we can guess we can and, and then try it. And if it doesn't work, we can do it the other way. So I'm going to make, uh, let's see, I'm going to make this positive and that negative, And then we're going to multiply, see if it works. Uh, negative 3 times x gives me a negative 3x. x times positive 5 gives me a positive 5x. And we're going to add those together. 5x minus 3x equals 2x. OK, I got 2x here, but I have a negative 2x up here. So that didn't work. Um, so let's try it again. Let's swap the signs and see if that works. Okay. Remember, do this with a pencil. When you're working on these, do with a pencil, then you can erase real easily. So I'm going to erase those. Uh, I'm going to erase this. 
Okay. Okay. Now, um, now I'm going to try a negative five and a positive three. And let's see, three times X is three X. Negative five times X is negative five X. And so then I, I'm going to have down here, going to get negative 5x plus 3x equals negative 2x. And you'll notice that's our middle term. So that worked out well. Uh, so this is our, this is our factored form of this quadratic.